So one of the best parts about the Galaxy Z Fold 7 is how much you can customize it. So in this video, I'll be showing you 10 setup tips and tricks that completely transform my home screen. Let's get right into it. Hey guys, it's Renz. Welcome back to the channel. So out of the box, the app drawer on Samsung phones is kind of a mess. Apps just land wherever they want with no real order, which drives me crazy. So the first thing that I actually do is sort everything alphabetically. To do that, just swipe up into the app drawer, tap the three dot menu on the bottom and hit sort and then select alphabetical order. This just makes your app drawer instantly cleaner and way faster to find what you're looking for. And then from there, I like to group apps into folders. For example, all my editing apps into one folder and all my social media apps into another. And on a phone as big as a fold, this is extremely useful because you're not just like swiping around trying to find stuff. It's such a simple change, but it's the foundation for a really clean setup. So one of the first things I change on any new Samsung phone is the icons. The default ones just feel a little loud and inconsistent. And for me, a clean home screen makes the whole phone feel better to use. I use the Dot Adaptive Icon Pack, which you can find in the Play Store. This icon pack comes in both light and dark mode, which is extremely easy to install. To set it up, just install the theme park from the Good Lock app, go into the icon section, select create new and apply the dots pack. It's super simple, rounded and minimal. I like to install both dark and light mode options depending on what mood I'm in. Oh, and if some apps don't have the custom icon, you can just tap the three dots in the corner, tap change icon, and then select the apps that don't have like the custom icon and then select an icon you want to assign to it. When all of your icons match, the whole setup just feels way more polished and it just feels clean and intentional, not like a stock launcher that gets cluttered. A good wallpaper honestly makes or breaks a setup. It's the background of everything you do on your phone and when it's dialed in, the whole phone feels just way more personal. So I rotate between two apps, basically just Panels and Wallpaper Z. Panels is great because it has a ton of minimal abstract designs that really pop on the folds big AMOLED screen. And then Wallpaper Z is my go-to for more curated aesthetic style stuff that feels unique and not just recycled from Pinterest. And I know a lot of you guys have been asking where I get my wallpapers from. It's from a creator called Digicentrals. Now do note these wallpapers are paid, but it's totally worth it if you like premium quality designs. I also love how some of the packs come in both mobile and desktop. So you can spruce up not only your phone, but your laptop as well. What I love about these wallpapers is that I could change it based on my mood. So whether I want light or dark mode, basically it just covers all bases. So the lock screen on the fold is actually one of my favorite things to customize since it's the thing that you kind of just like see all the time. So the first thing I always do is make the clock big and bold. On such a tall display, it just looks better and it's easier to glance at when you're on the go. Then I add a couple of minimal widgets, usually weather and Samsung health. That way I can check the forecast before heading out or see my step count without even unlocking the phone. The cool thing is, is that the Folds lock screen has so much room to play with, but again, just try to keep everything simple. Now, if you wanna customize it further, just download Wonderland in the Good Lock app. You can even create your own moving wallpaper or create different lock screen effects. There's a ton of effects to choose from and it's really easy to set up. So one of the best ways I've leveled up my Folds setup is download this app called Everything Widgets. The stock Samsung widgets are fine, but this app just takes it to another level. You get so many different clean, minimal options from clocks, calendars, calendars, to battery indicators, step counters, and even just like quick toggles. So on my main screen, I usually run a digital clock and a simple calendar widget, all from everything widgets. I even have a minimal media player widget as well for easy access. And if you're like me and you get distracted easily, this kind of setup really helps. I can glance at my fold, see exactly what I need, and get back to whatever I was doing without falling into like random apps. Just with this being the fold, those widgets actually feel useful on such a big canvas. It's like having like a mini dashboard every time I open the phone, and it makes the whole experience feel more customized instead of just like the default Samsung widgets. Oh, and also since I've been using Gemini a lot more, I actually keep the Gemini widget on my inner display as well. It's perfect for quick prompts, questions, or even brainstorming content ideas without having to open the full app. And then lastly, I have the device care widget, easily accessible. It's super handy for quick insights like battery, storage, and memory, all at a glance. So by default, Samsung has this setting called cover screen mirroring turned on. So basically whatever setup you have on the big inner screen just gets copied over to the cover screen. Now that might sound convenient at first, but I like having two separate displays, one on the inner screen and one on the cover screen. That way I can build two completely different setups. To change this, just long press on the home screen, tap settings and toggle off cover screen mirroring. It makes the full feel way more purposeful because each screen can kind of just serve its own role instead of just being a duplicate. All right, on to tip seven. So one of my favorite customization apps on the fold is an app called Muviz Edge. 
This app is amazing because it adds like this subtle edge lighting effect that dances along the borders of your screen whenever you get notifications or play music. It's not over the top, you can customize the colors, patterns, and even set it to glow in sync with your audio. Pair that with their always on display options and suddenly your phone has a really cool look that feels futuristic. Seriously, they have some really cool always on display options. But again, just keep in mind this is a free app and if you want to get like some of their premium features, you do have to pay for it. But honestly, I think it's worth it. It just looks cool when the screen edges glow softly while I'm listening to music or even watching a YouTube video. The Fold is built for multitasking and one of the ways that we can take advantage of that is app pairing. So if you use like the same two apps side by side, like YouTube and Chrome or Gmail and Calendar, you don't need to set them up every single time. Just open both apps and split screen, tap the little three dot handle in the middle and hit add app pair to edge panel. Now that combination is saved. Next time, just swipe open the edge panel and you can launch both apps instantly in split screen with a single tap. I use this all the time when I'm watching videos and need to look something up or when I'm replying to emails and double checking dates. I have mine set up with a bunch of different combinations of apps and man, it's so useful. So the stock volume panel on the Fold is fine, but with Sound Assistant, you can make it both smarter and better looking. Go into the app and turn on Flex Volume UI and you'll unlock a ton of options with different shapes, textures, even a knob style slider if you want. All the color combinations are so cool, but I keep mine basically with just like the minimal one that's like the first one on the list. I just love how soft the animations are. Now functionally, the best part is the individual app volume controls. I can keep Spotify low in the background while cranking YouTube, for example. It's a small tweak, but once you set it up, every volume change just feels way more personal and useful. And it just looks really cool. All right, so last tip is custom keyboards using Keys Cafe in the Good Luck app. So out of the box, Samsung keyboard works fine, but Keys Cafe lets you tweak it way beyond just themes. You can change the layout, like adding extra rows for emojis or numbers, adjust key sizes, and even build your own custom keyboard shortcuts. I've set mine up with a clean minimal look that matches my home screen theme, but the real benefit is just functional. And again, there's just a ton of customization options here. You can change the effect, animations, like when you're pressing the keys. This upgrade is super cool and just makes your keyboard just really unique. So that's how you create an aesthetic Fold 7 home screen setup. Honestly, it's just so fun to customize the Fold because you just have such a big canvas to work with. And if you enjoyed this one, make sure to check out my other video, Fold 7 Tips You'll Actually Use. It's full of practical features that actually pair well with these customization tips. Drop a comment and let me know which tip you're gonna try first or share one of your own that I should test out. Thanks for watching and be sure to like and subscribe for more tech content just like this one. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.